Hello, everybody. Welcome to R2 Be Your Two. It's your girl, Rebel City. But if you like, you can call me Steph. I don't mind, because I'm not bothered. I accept and embrace every part of me, just like I accept and embrace all of you. I want you guys to take a look at this picture for a second. And I want you to really think about what it's saying. Just think about it. Have you ever come across someone in your life that you really try to communicate with? And something about them is just not human. I noticed that when I tried to give you all some pertinent information, someone was shaking in their boots because they could not stand to hear themselves over and over again while they were looking at the lie that I was able to catch several pictures of. Now see, this is the thing about I don't understand about this person. They have spent most of their time in our community and used every angle and snare and trick to try to get you all to believe something about someone else. I mean, put in the comments if y'all can tell me how many different beefs you know this particular content creator has been in. This content creator breathes and lives off of destructional situations. And that can only be born of Satan. And I say that with surety because I've never seen anyone get so mad at another person's relationship with God. Now, if you can say anything you want about people and things and make up all the lies you want, but you love to spend your career saying they're a liar, they're a liar, then riddle the people this, Batman. Why won't you let them see it? I'm wondering sometimes if you're the police because you, you have a way of being able to keep your stuff up and everybody else's stuff gets to them. But I'm not bothered because my life isn't here. What I bring here is an energy that apparently is doing some good. And I didn't even know how much good until... You wonderful listeners and you wonderful subscribers have shown me through emails, your comments. The love is so breathtaking. It's refreshing to be around people who understand. See, anyone can say what they like. They can say it how they like. But when you looking at words and you don't see punctuations, question marks, and get mad about it, think it's an attitude, and blame it on everyone else when it's your own mind. Because you sat on live and said so many times how you can't see. You pick on people for how they read and write, knowing that sometimes when people are writing fast, they hit a key or miss a key. They didn't mean to. But you don't, you don't think that there's a, a margin for human error when it comes to mistyping, but you do it. <laughs> That's hilarious. You call people liars for years. But you won't let them see your lies and you know it's real because you sat on that live and when you didn't speak anymore, you text me. And then you made a live early the next morning telling the hugest lie that when the conversation ended in January, you ended it with a thumbs up. However, comma, you can't get out of this one, sweetie. We got that proof. And so many people saw that proof before you took it down. And so many people recorded that proof before you took it down. 
Because see, I know how you move, sweetie. You shoot all your arrows. You shoot all your arrows and run while you're shooting them. You're running away. Stand and take the conversation. Did you lie about the conversation ending in January? Or did you text me Wednesday night? Be honest to the people. Since you wanted to be clear to the community. I think it's hilarious that you actually thought that something about you was strong enough <laughs> to bother me. It was all strategy and layers, and the layers are still coming because you have been coming at everyone for no reason. Sometimes you may have been right, but this time you're wrong. And there's no double talking you can do. There's no twisting words. You're the only person I ever met in my life who looks at every word and reads it angrily. You would look at this picture I'm showing right now and say, but the spirits of fallen angels, because that's how you are. You're dark to be so light. <laughs> but that's okay, because God, he still accepts you too. I had a wonderful sermon at my church today. I have some wonderful subs who know you. They know your modus of operandi. And I actually thought that you had some type of capability of convincing someone something that wasn't true. And the only thing I wanted to do was make sure the people were clear that you love to manipulate any and every word, sentence, letter, punctuation and that is so sad while I'm over here so happy all your videos are still going to leave you stressed all your videos are still going to leave you looking for someone to co-sign you see I'm brave enough to bring someone on my panel who we don't share the same opinion about something but we can talk about it you're incapable of talking to humans because you might not truly be one. Y'all think about it for a second. Read this picture. They're here. Name one other person in this community who has purposely and willfully gone to such extents, even the extent of reaching out to FBG the mom. Like, you have no limits. And because you are so low, I'm gonna stay high up here. I'm, I'm good here. I played in the sandbox with you for a second, but I did that as a chess move. You won't see it now. You won't see it tomorrow. You won't see it next week. But karma has an appointment. Karma has an appointment. And you know why? Because it's not against me. Karma has an appointment against you because you are attacking someone who you know don't deserve it. But you don't know that because why? You have no human concept. You walk and talk as if human. And that is the funniest part because a lot of people have seen beyond that mask. It took me a while. It took me a while. But let's count it up, guys. Compare my history of beef and arguments with her history of beef and arguments. So you're telling me that every single person in the entire world who do not do content videos, who just watch as spectators, have the same opinion? And you have not said anything to them, but they see you. The more you jump up and down, the more they see you. I'm happy you jump up and down. Get your exercise, baby girl. The ones, the twos, the threes, the fours. And if my relationship with God bother you so much, how about you just don't think about me? Because as far as I'm concerned from this moment on, you don't exist to me. Shred, delete. To all my subs, to all her friends, if you don't mind, please don't send me any notifications that she said anything because it's not 
of any value. Somewhere along the way, you got lost. You may have started okay, but somewhere along the way, you lost yourself. While you're trying to make everybody else look bad, you're only doing it to yourself. I love that you think your words are hitting like a lick. I love that you think that your videos are being some type of guarantee on the woman that God made me. But I'm going to give you a tip. You should try this kind of joy I got. You should try God. Because then maybe you wouldn't feel so bothered. I love, love the joy that I have. I can look online and see everything that everyone says about you and know that I wasn't wrong. And know that I really didn't even need to stand up for myself. Why? Because you know why you're blocking my stuff. You don't want the people to know. But it's okay. Because what I got from my sermon today was, let them play. Let them play. I mean, it didn't hurt me. It didn't cost me anything. Every single person you've ever worked with, except for one, has left you. Every single one. You get into it with Caucasians. You get into it with African Americans. Like, is there any limit you won't go to? So with all the energy I'm giving you through this, I hope it gives you a lot of energy. Do a lot of videos. Because all you're doing is giving the people the best laugh and giving me more and more reasons to pray for you. So maybe one day you will have that joy from God after all. Who knows? He's of a forgiving nature. And I have to follow his example. So how about you be blessed with your videos? You be blessed with your life where you only bring people on your panel that agree with you because you're not brave enough. You're not brave enough to have a give and take conversation with someone. Do y'all know why she read everything to y'all? Or why she try to show y'all the clips? Because it's small pertinent little things in between. And she feels like y'all won't catch that. She thinks y'all slow. Y'all need to show her y'all 10 steps ahead shooting backwards. Y'all see her. We all see you, baby. It's only a tick-tock of the clock before your karma knocks on your door. And don't say we did it to you. You did it to yourself. And I thank God that I didn't go any further in the mud with the pig. That would make me look worse than anything you could ever try to say about me. You're nobody special. You think your word out here is going to make the world not like me? You better check my comments, girl. They are mad at you. <laughs> they see you. So what you going to do? You're going to flag the whole entire world of YouTube that watches too? Yeah, you probably would. That's a new goal for you. Maybe you can make the Guinness Book of World Records. But I wish you the best on all your endeavors. And I just want you to know that you can never break what God built, sweetie. Get you some of this. Get like that. And you be blessed. All of you, thank you for showing me and everyone else that you don't believe what she says. You have stopped believing her a long, long time ago. I mean, between Sam Sam, OK Channel, and everybody else, I actually am blessed that I'm getting out now before I, I mean, actually, I got out five months ago. You wanted to come and see what we were talking about. You won't tell the people you mad that Nia broke the story about Mike Mike. That's your whole reason for being mad. And gentlemen, please, if you know females have not been getting along, to be a man, do not invite a woman into somebody else's chat. Let her come on her own. Men are supposed to lead us. She did not, you cannot tell me you thought that she came there 
to be of the conversation, within the conversation. She came to find any and everything to disrupt with your help. And I'm not mad at you because we all learn people differently. But you, you are not even supposed to be a part of this. That was me thinking that, you know, maybe you could give your friends some type of understanding about, you know, this girl didn't really do nothing to you. You can't say she did nothing to you. The only thing you're telling these people is I was whining and crying, which is a lie. <laughs> and you're telling them that I lied because you're chopping things up. But they see it, they recorded it, they got it. I got so much confirmation today. You see, I don't have to fight with anyone. All I have to do is just be myself, my true spiritual self, and you're jealous because spirituality is something that you will never be able to have. Y'all, ain't that why Satan hate people? Satan hate God's people. That he chooses certain people that he like. The ones that'll do his bidding. I wonder how many of your friends, like me, thought you were actually the victim and you told them, go take a couple pictures off of somebody else's page because I'm blocked. That's a very bothered person. <laughs> you just want to be in the know so bad. So everybody, share your feelings with her. She wants to be in the know so much. She wants y'all attention so much. Let her know how you feel. Let her know what kind of example she's setting out here in a community that's supposed to be looking for answers. I put out videos of Kanika this week while being in an entanglement of, sh of showing your lies. And I still put out Kanika content. Can you at least do both? Because <laughs> you still trying to catch that mic mic glory in. It's like not a glory. Somebody lost a family member. That recording that Boss Black made, that was his truth. But he had to change it because you got mad. And I'm not mad at him for that. You know, he's a good guy. And I'm going to let his name stay intact. I'm not going to try to sully him in any kind of way because he don't deserve that. Because he did something for me that you couldn't even try to do. He listened to me. He heard my heart. Because he has a heart. I don't expect anything else from you but negativity. So you can go ahead and just... Let the world know how ugly you are by trying to call it proof of something. You're proving one thing, your true reputation, your true agenda. You know, T. Knight had a lot of stuff to say about you. It's got a girl wondering because, you know, everybody's stuff get pulled off except yours. It's so cute. But you know what? Everybody else cares. I got two more strikes to get. Two more. You know, I would have fun getting them. But if you were worth it, if you were worth it, and that's a strong if, I would still be costing myself passing my test with God. See, you don't care about God in any way. And the Bible talks about a fool who don't believe and care about him. It's a fool. So you can have all your laughs, your kicks, your giggles, because you know what they say. She will always, always keep her life in a happy space. You sound though like the most miserable person in the world. Ah, oh, stop. Baby, it's okay. Like, I was really in your corner for a while when you asked me to go get the pictures off of the other profiles on Facebook because you was chicken then about what they were going to say. And you were, a, you know, a big baby about a few more things. But 
you want to call me a baby when there is nothing in anything I wrote that an adult, if they read it themselves without you trying to witch read, <laughs> they would hear heart. How can they hear anything with a veil of darkness? I don't even understand why this community still embrace you. Between everybody that's had a fight with you and the things T Knight and Trey Gang and everybody else saying about you, I cannot believe this community hasn't just upheaved you up out of here. There is no kindness that resides in you. I feel bad for you. I pray for you. And as I smile and have my beautiful last night, and as I smile and have my beautiful today, and as I pray God bless me to have that beautiful tomorrow, you'll still be on YouTube trying to chop and screw away to make the people give you some attention because you need some attention. But they see you. They've been listening to you longer than I have. They know you well. They know you very well. You have not turned one person against me that isn't already in your pocket, your team, your squad. <laughs> that says a lot. Because when I did the little nice video about Trey, you know, his people came and talked to me in my comments as well. So it's amazing how much love is still in this community. The world wants you to think that everybody got to be angry and got to have an attitude. But they don't, it's a choice. When you come across something like this on this picture, guys, the best thing to do is walk away and let God handle it. And for all of you who show love, Wow, my heart is lifted. And I look so forward to talking to you guys tomorrow on live about the music industry shocking secret I wanna share with you all. So you all make sure you tune in and I'll continue to bring you as much Kanika content as I could possibly find. I love you guys, y'all be blessed. Y'all have a great night and have a great week as well.